What's happening everybody? Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I wanted to talk about my week last week because I had an incredibly busy week, but I got to do some really cool things. So I wanted to share them with you all. A huge week all over the state of taking photos, just real estate photos, land photography everywhere. On Thursday, I got to do something really special. And that was to go to the premiere of Huckberry's latest episode of Dirt, Dirt Atlanta. And as you guys know, I have been friends with the people at Huckberry since like they first opened up in 2011. I think that's when Andy and I shared our first emails and we've just talked online ever since. I've known a lot of these people online for years. So when I saw the premiere was coming, which Dirt is an awesome show by the way. You should check it out on their website or their YouTube channel. You can find it both places. But when I saw they were coming here for the premiere, I knew I had to go. So of course I RSVP'd yes. And then when they found out that I was going to be there, they asked if I would take pictures and video and just kind of document the event. And of course I was more than excited to do that because I was going to be there enjoying it anyway. And of course I'm going to bring a camera. So I happily accepted that offer and we popped down there and just had a fantastic time. We got there just before the doors open. The we being me and my brother-in-law, Caleb. Heather was going to come, but she had to do an extra practice for her kids because the next day they were gonna be at state at Georgia Tech. So she wanted to get in one more practice with the kids swimming. She was busy doing that and I invited Caleb to come along with me and we both had an absolute blast. But one thing that was really so cool about it, Dirt, even though it's like a food show and and that's kind of very uh, Anthony Bourdain, no reservation style show. The through line through this particular episode was the people make the food, the people make the ingredients, the people make the story. The story is about the people, right? And if you're from the Atlanta area or if you've gone to school downtown or whatever, you know how true this is. The people that you're around absolutely make your experience and make Atlanta unique and really what it is. To have people from outside of the city pick up on that and make that the through line of the episode and really just kind of focus in on that was incredible. But because of that unique feel that Atlanta has when you're there and when you're a part of it, even whether you live there or you went to school there or you're just visiting, you will see and feel that sort of vibe that Atlanta has that is unique from other cities. And so I knew I wanted to take at least with the photos and edit those myself and put that sort of unique feeling into the edit of the photos. It's a little bit gritty. It's a little bit dark, but it's very welcoming. And the people make the city amazing. So for the series of photos that I did, there was a focus on people with sort of a street photography style. And I shot everything on my 24 millimeter F1.4 G Master lens, but then switched between normal and super 35 mode to give me a couple of different lens options essentially without having to swap lenses. Then in the edit, the weather really helped out with what I wanted vision wise because it was overcast and then most of what we shot was during blue hour. So it, it added this sort of darker gritty feel, but then you were able to brighten up the people with their sort of vibrance and their like just cool and collected nature and kind of show off the people that were there. And um, that was kind of my focus with everything. And then not to mention the, the smoke from the fire pits made some really amazing framing devices where I was able to fade out people in the foreground and focus on someone in the distance or use it to frame people that were the subject of my pictures. And I didn't have to do any Photoshop work, just brightening up the smoke in Lightroom. And it just worked out so well to give this cool sort of retro vibe to the photos that I feel like really represents the city that I know and love, right? It was also really awesome to hear uh, Chef Malik from Shea Butter Jones talk about just what he does and his inspiration for it because 
the passion that that man has for the food and the people of Atlanta is absolutely contagious. And you just can't help but get excited about something like that. And so to be there and sort of experience that, but also like capture these little moments was just so fulfilling to me personally. Now I wanna take you guys just through a nice little edit of highlights from everything that we had. So you can sort of experience what we all experienced. Maybe it'll get you really excited for the next time Huckberry does this with an episode if they come to your town because it really is incredible. inspiration company and we want to kind of promote adventures near and far uh, our VP of marketing Ben who's here he was just in Tasmania last weekend but you're gonna see a lot of cool stuff in Georgia in this episode thanks for coming out we're so excited to show you this I know the whole crew is so proud of this episode first of all thank you for Huckberry to continue to invest in this series it's a life-changing opportunity me on a personal level it just shows that like the world is much bigger than your own personal story. Also, huge shout out to the crew. I might find the stories, but you guys make them sparkle. And I appreciate you guys so much. Malik and Dee, I started with you guys from our first call. I knew you guys were the voice I wanted to follow. And then everything unfolded. You opened up your community to us. It just, it just ended up unfolding before us. And so I hope you enjoyed the episode. Again, we're super proud of it. And we hope you did, we did your city justice. So enjoy, guys. It could be aliens that are digging it up, too. So that's, that's the other thing. People have said, I'm that person to call. If, if aliens came to Atlanta. I did not see a large representation of people who look like me. And yeah. women, even less. More, there would be more representation. Sure. So now there is. Yeah. But 12 years ago, there really wasn't that much. And so you continue to invite people in. And then bring break 1996 energy around here. Well, with Atlanta, I wanted to make sure we honor the black community here that's shaped the city. And I also want to show Atlanta in the context of Georgia, in the sense that like, which is just, this is like true Huckberry DNA, like escaping the city and going beyond the city. And that juxtaposition between like the city and the mountains and the ocean. Atlanta is just these, these incredible human beings who are um, excited to evolve whatever they're creating, whatever they're doing, whatever they're into. Because the people are so amazing. I love Atlanta. Yeah. I, I just want to be, be clear. I came here in 89. MC Shad D was on the radio when I first came. <laughs> the food is great, but the people are better. I think what's cool about this episode is like it went, thanks to Malik and Taj, it's like it went beyond food and it was more of a culture piece and I think that's like a huge accomplishment right because it was so rooted in food in this formula of collecting ingredients and then cooking it up at the end but this took it to sort of like a new level seriously though the episode was great but then all the people that showed up made the whole event incredible I don't know how you would leave that place without feeling inspired and revived and rejuvenated because everyone that was there was so excited and passionate to be there and about what was going on. But giant shout out to Malik and Halfway Crooks Beer for hosting the event and just everyone that was involved in the process because 
The production crew killed it. All the people from Huckberry absolutely crushed it. And the people that showed up for the event, you all made it amazing. And it was so great to hang out with you all and meet so many of you. I'm just so thankful for the opportunity to be there and document that. And man, I just can't wait for the next one. For me, this channel's always been about going on adventures and then sharing stories, but then also talking about the gear that we use to go on those adventures and make those stories because those stories are what are most important. That's how we connect with one another. And being at this premiere for Dirt Atlanta allowed me to get to know a whole bunch of people that I live relatively close to that I never met through their stories. And I feel like I really got to know a huge chunk of like actually what makes them them. And that's super cool. And then it also being sponsored by Huckberry, like they are a company that is all about giving you the gear to go on your adventures and do these kind of things and tell these kind of stories and make these stories for yourself. My gosh, if that doesn't just fit so well with like my ethos for this channel and just who I am. I am a firm believer in Mark Twain's quote of, you know, travel is the best cure for bigotry and small mindedness in the world. And I truly think that sharing our adventures through stories are the way to connect us all as humans. And being able to go to a premiere that did that is just such a great week last week. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you stick around for more stories about my adventures and the outdoors and more reviews about the gear that takes me on those adventures to get those stories. All right. See ya.